Well, uh, we'll straight away move over to the next keynote address. Um, Mr. Graham Budd, the CEO, COO of uh, ARM. Well, uh, right from uh, 1992 has been in this company and uh, has grown leaps and bounds and today is heading the organization. So ladies and gentlemen, the keynote address by Mr. Graham Budd will be on global innovation by global collaboration. Please put your hands together and let's welcome Mr. Graham Budd for the next keynote address. Good morning, everyone. Uh, in fact, good afternoon, everybody. I'm very pleased to be here at this IESA Vision Summit. I'm very impressed that uh, during the coffee break, I noticed that all of the signage here has uh, changed to IESA. Very quick work. So, um, yeah, delighted to be here today. I'm going to talk about the opportunity that we have, both globally for the tech and semiconductor industry, and, um, and specifically about the opportunity in India and how uh, in India we can capitalize on the growth of, of, the, uh, of the market. Um, just in case anyone's not familiar with ARM, very quick introduction. We are the world's leading semiconductor IP company. Last year, uh, there were about 8.7 billion ARM processor-based chips shipped worldwide. Um, we have about 400 uh, employees, designers, working here in Bangalore, a very important uh, design center for us here in India uh, as well. Okay, so I've taken global innovation by global collaboration as, uh, as my theme, so hooking into one of the main themes of uh, this ISA Vision Summit, IESA Vision Summit today. If we go back to, if we go back to 1990, which by the way is also the year that ARM was founded, then, well, there was no mainstream cellular, you know, your, your mobile handset was a brick if you had one at that point. There was no mainstream internet at that time. And the semiconductor industry was continuing to drive miniaturization, certain level of integration. Computing had evolved to the, to the PC. And we were kind of in the middle of the PC era. Roll forward to 2013, and mobile is now the force that is driving computing and driving the future of computing. And um, we're seeing that, you know, across the globe, citizens are using mobile to uh, create new lifestyles, new ways of thinking, new ways of working. Governments are using mobile technology to uh, innovate and improve service delivery. And uh, in some countries around the world, uh, more people have mobile handsets or some kind of mobile internet-connected device than have um, access to uh, electricity or bank accounts. So mobile truly is becoming uh, absolutely key technology for the world. And we are today, you know, in 1990, we were in the middle of the PC era. Today, we are in the post-PC era as mobile drives uh, connected co computing. So mobile is also changing our behavior globally, changing how we live and changing how we do business. So <clears throat> we see that um, across, the, across the globe today, around 80% of iPad users use their devices, uh, use, their, use their devices, the only device they use pretty much for, for, for uh, accessing the internet. Around 60% of people using their uh, connected devices to access social media, to access Facebook. And then uh, this, uh, for 2012 Christmas, nearly 50% of children in the US wanting an iPad for Christmas. Now, maybe they also wanted a bicycle and a few other things as well. But, you know, it's an interesting statistic. Um, 
we're seeing a huge growth in applications like mobile payments. So PayPal, for example, have seen a 50 times increase in mobile payments since 2009. And um, huge diversity out there of form factors of products, innovative new ways to interact with the internet, to interact with each other through mobile devices and through, through social media. You know, right from the latest sort of high-end devices from companies like Samsung and, and Apple through to your sub-$100 tablets, um, there's a huge amount of innovation going on out there. If we look across the globe at um, mobile ownership, we can see there is still a huge opportunity there um, in terms of people adopting uh, smarter, uh, smarter devices. Uh, this is from some research done in the first half of 2012. I have to be slightly careful with the China numbers here because uh, I was reading the small print of this research and uh, the China part of the survey was actually done by the internet, whereas the other parts of the survey were done by, uh, by um, uh, speaking to people face to face. So I think the China number is maybe just slightly uh, overcalled. But given that one third of smartphones were sold in China last year, I think it's clear that you know, there has been uh, very strong uh, adoption in China. And it's also clear that there is a huge opportunity in India going forward for uh, as, as more people use smart, adopt and use smart connected devices to access the internet. And uh, this is a great opportunity for us all to capitalize on. So in the world, around 7 billion people today, around 5 billion of those people so far with mobile phones, and around 1 billion of those being smartphone users. Now, it took about 16 years for the first billion smartphones, the first billion smartphone subscriptions to be, uh, to be, to be, to be activated. And you know, analysts forecast last year, well, it's going to take maybe another three years to get to two billion. Well, our view is it's going to happen faster than that. And you know, we expect that uh, globally we're going to be seeing two billion mobile uh, smartphone subscriptions reached by the end of 2013. So again, a huge opportunity developing there globally. And mobile <coughs> is also helping to drive uh, job creation. <coughs> so across many different uh, areas of, of, the, uh, <coughs> of, of commerce. So <coughs> if we take as an example in the, uh, in the US, over <coughs> since, since 2011, around 460,000 new jobs have been created related to mobile applications. You know, and the similar is true in India, many other, many other countries around the world. Uh, enabling new types of application, commerce, e-payment, whatever it is. I mean, clearly, the consumption of these kind of mobile devices is going to continue, is going to grow in a huge way. And I think one of the key questions for India, we've been hearing a lot about this this morning, is you know, for those uh, tablets, those, those smartphones, those mobile connected computing devices that are used in India, where are they going to be manufactured? Where are they going to be designed? Are they all going to come from China? Are they going to come from India? And that's one of the challenges, I think, that we, uh, that we face, but also a, a huge opportunity for, uh, for, for, for India as we go forward. OK, so looking to the future for a minute, we, we see in 2013 that there's a lot of change in the industry. We've talked about the billion smartphones that are going to ship this year. We also expect to see the a rise in more context-aware services um, as we start to see mobile linking in with the Internet of Things, the first 20 nanometer devices shipping this year, and um, starting to see more, as I said, connectivity with the, with the IoT. I mean, already you can go and buy 
uh, <coughs> Internet of Things DIY kits that are helping to stimulate innovation and creativity, people designing small sensors and applications that can interface with your mobile phone and, and therefore through to the internet. So lots of innovation going on, lots of opportunity in that space um, as well. And in the automotive arena as well, increasing levels of integration between smartphone technology and you know, touchscreen environment in, in the car. Now, if we go back three years to <coughs> the Consumer Electronics Show in, in Vegas, in, three years ago, the focus of that show was really mostly about smartphones. Two years ago, the focus was mainly about tablets. This year, interestingly, the focus really seemed to be more around the whole range of smart mobile devices, not just mobile phones, but all these other kind of devices, some of which are, are shown on this slide, and how they all interconnect together, and the potential opportunity that exists in the future as these types of devices are able to talk to each other, applications written to run on these devices are able to share data, <coughs> uh, share data with applications and services running in the cloud. I think that uh, is an area that offers huge potential. And I think for India, this is a great opportunity too because of the really strong heritage that India has in services and system integration. There's a great opportunity to take a lead role in helping to make this happen. 